Senator Ranker. Thank you, Mr. President. I stand here today in absolute support of this legislation, and I recognize how difficult this journey has been for some of you and how hard it may be to accept full marriage equality. But for me, my struggle, my struggle did not revolve around how to accept equality, but rather how to grapple with communities and a society that did not. As the son of a gay man, my personal story was one of a society that questioned my own family. When my father came out, many in my own community and some in my own family refused to accept it. Each day I saw my classmates, my educators, and some of my own family members question my father. Quietly questioning his ability and even his right to be a parent and to raise me as his son. But mostly, people dealt with my father's life by simply ignoring it, simply not talking about it. This quiet shame, this silence, was worse for me than outspoken hatred. My journey and my challenge was growing up in a society that saw my father as unequal. I, however, have always seen things very differently. I grew up with a strong, strong value system, one nurtured by a father who provided me with the foundation to succeed and unconditional love and support. I was taught that a family is not determined by the genders of the persons involved, but rather by the love and the commitment that they share. I was taught that every person must be treated with dignity and with respect. These are the values that I've carried with me throughout my life, and these are the values that my wife and I now pass on to our beautiful little girl. Today, we stand ready to take an historic step to extend the fundamental rights that we embrace as Americans to all of our citizens. By continuing to differentiate between loving couples in our communities, we separate and we isolate families within our communities. We must recognize that separate can never be equal and domestic partnership can never be marriage. And so today, today, I am eternally grateful to Senator Murray and others for their tireless efforts that have brought us here. And today, today I am proud. I am proud to stand on the right side of history. I am proud to fully support marriage equality, but mostly, Mr. President, I'm proud of my father.